Hello everyone, welcome to Unlocked with Natalia Toro. Today I will talk to you about fear, anxiety and stress at the workplace, a mental phenomenon that is the reality of millions of professionals and entrepreneurs around the world. You will be able to identify if you are one of them, learn why the main worries and symptoms of anxiety in the workplace spread quickly to your personal life and most importantly, what actions you should be taking from today to get rid of it. For those watching for the first time, I'm Natalia Toro, hypnotherapist, NLP practitioner and transformational coach. And I help professionals and entrepreneurs to break through fear, anxiety and stress so they can rebuild their confidence, achieve peak performance and become successful and happy in their career and personal life. Without meds, without years of talk therapy, just by working on their subconscious mind. Today I'm giving away three free spots for you to jump in a 45 minute strategy call with me. We will go through your current life issues, identify where you want to be emotionally, mentally, physically and even spiritually. And we will work out together a solution driven strategy tailored just to your specific needs. Booking your free call is very easy, just go to the comments box and link the Calendly link, answer a very small survey and follow the steps to book. All right. Fear and work. Let's start with the question, why do you feel fear and anxiety mostly at work? And I talk about fear here because anxiety is the compulsive, fearful projection of the future. It is an unconscious behavior that feeds from fear. And uh, this doesn't look like, but it's a quite complex question because as much as you think you are experiencing anxiety at the workplace because of the responsibility you have on you, the lack of time you get to get things done, perhaps the seniority of your position within the organization or even being the head of the business as an entrepreneur, the environment you work at, for example, and other external reasons, none of those are the real problem or the core reason for you to be struggling with anxiety at the workplace. We live in a fast-paced changing world since the industrialization and since then we humans have kind of evolved far from the connection with who we are really inside from the fact of just being humans and existing and we have slowly started to become doers only. We have misplaced our sense of worth from who we are to what we do. If you think about it, when you meet someone, one of the first questions you will ask to each other is, what do you do for a living? We unconsciously identify ourselves with our job title, the company we work for, or even the business we want to put together, right? So your fear of making mistakes, thinking what others can see through you, discovering all your flaws, for example, caring too much about what others think of you, not being able to sleep before that important presentation or before presenting that report or even fearing your own boss or feel like a fraud when talking to your work team. This is because you are afraid of failure, because failure could mean loss, losing your job, messing up your career or not being able to make what you want to do with your business would be like or would mean like losing part of your identity or in some cases even losing your complete identity. Now let's review just a few of the most common symptoms of anxiety at the workplace. Those ones that will start quickly affecting your life, your personal life, if the workplace anxiety is left unresolved. First of all, you would experience lack of energy and constant tiredness. When someone experiences lack of energy, unconsciously starts socially withdrawing from the smallest social circles like their family to the wider ones, extended family, friends, or even communities they belong to. You might start feeling like you need more rest at home than what you normally would need. Panic attacks, anxiety attacks at the workplace. They will start happening most probably when you are outside work as well. 
if left unresolved. Displays emotions such as anger. Professionals that have reported symptoms of work-related anxiety have also expressed anger and outrage uh, that is affecting their relationships with others, with their beloved ones at home. The lack of enthusiasm for things that you once enjoyed is another of the symptoms. This includes your hobbies, stop exercising, and even stop doing your spiritual practices. Decreased productivity and procrastination. If anxiety, work-related anxiety, is left unresolved, you will not only be struggling with procrastination at work, but you will start putting personal matters on the endless waiting list. And physical issues, physical symptoms, digestive issues, insomnia, and skin problems. If you experience one or more of these symptoms, and they are rather repetitive or permanent, for, let's say, medium to long periods of time, you are most probably experiencing workplace anxiety. And yes, it is real. Now, what can be done to get rid of these debilitating symptoms of anxiety that are affecting your personal and your professional life? First, find ways to focus your attention and energy in those things that work well at the moment in your life. Two, research on what kind of help might be available to you. Workplace anxiety is often overlooked due to the lack of education and because sometimes people are not really aware of what kind of help is available to them. Also because when they ask for help, they are often advised to consult their primary medical practitioner. They end up getting prescribed with pills and probably put on a waiting list um, for some sort of conventional therapy. A process that can be too long for someone who's already struggling with debilitating symptoms of anxiety that are already affecting their career performance and their personal life and really just want a solution to it. And the third action that you can take today is take a look at the past of your personal story, not to dwell on things that perhaps were painful, but to make mm, some notes to remember how were your interactions in those other systems of your life like your home your family and your school because the way we interact with the reality of the complex systems we live in right now was determined long time ago when we adapted our minds for the first time to interact in the first environments of our life thank you for watching and if you want to overcome anxiety fear and stress for good you can now very easily book a free strategy call with me by just going to the comments box and click on the link of my calendar. See you next time.